This is huge breaking news. So now we have undeniable proof that A.H. herself was behind targeting myself, trying to go and attack and remove my channel. And not only that, but she was conspiring with Eve Barlow to do the same and much, much worse. Not only that, but she defied a judge's decision in order to do this. She was leaking confidential information to Eve Barlow. You and I, we are going to talk about this today. Oh man, I mean this, this is fun times. This, this is fun times indeed. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day. By the way, I hope you are doing excellently. And this, it is bombshell material. Why? Because it shows that AH not only went after my channel, tried to take that down, but she weaponized Eve Barlow, the same person that is attacked beyond channels, beyond Twitter. She has gone after my real life. She has gone after businesses and beyond. Well, this, it takes away the deniability. It ties that to AH herself. Today, we had a bunch of bombshells dropped unseen stuff no one had ever heard of in the form of unsealed documentation. See, a few weeks ago, the judge decided she was going to unseal specific documents, ones that AH wanted to hide. I mean, there are a lot of things that get exposed throughout these two. It'll take weeks to go through all of this. Now, those documents are a gold mine of information, but one particular document, it really caught my eye when they announced it. Why? Because we had seen the redacted version of this. It led to a lot of questions, but we had never had all of those answered. Well, now we have the document plus the attachments. This is when AH tried to shut down her deposition by filing an emergency protective order. Quote, defendant and counterclaim plaintiff, AH's emergency motion for protective order to protect all individuals attending the deposition of AH. What she does in this is she essentially does anything that she can to get out of being deposed. She's saying, I'm not safe, Elaine. My lawyer's rotten born. We're not safe either. We're not safe because, well, they go after the beer bunk. They go after everything like, say, lunch arrangements, restroom, deposition areas as well. The fact that, well, we need certain mask rules to be in effect. And then, as you coast through the pages, you get to something really interesting, something that I always knew was about me, but it was always treated like it was conspiracy. Listen to this here. Number nine, the security precautions for private building access, security at the location of deposition, and police contact information that JD previously agreed to are critically important to AH and her counsel's safety as she and her counsel have received, well, certain types of threats. And JD fans who are adverse to AH are aware of the details of AH's deposition. For example, the Twitter account, and then it goes redacted. Now, AH, oh, she screws up big time here. She makes a crucial mistake. How does she do that? Well, first and foremost, you notice after all of that redaction, it says see attachment 9. Like I was saying before, no one had access in the public to Attachment 9. The only people that were supposed to be able to see this was AH, the people that were working with her. You would have JD, the people working with him, and the judge. I mean, this, it was filed as classified or confidential. That's the same thing that got Adam Waldman removed because he was quote-unquote leaking stuff, which was a lie, but anyway. Now, when you look at this, again, we just got access to it, you'll notice that it's about myself. You'll notice, too, that they are stalking my Twitter account. They are hyper-focused on it. Relevant people, no one else tagged in there. You know, you don't see any of the other names that are mentioned here, but you'll notice that umbrella guy, you have the date here as well, January the 5th, 2022, and this is all I had to say to get them to target me. AH gets to post next week. If it's anything like that divorce fiasco, oh, it's going to be a clown show.
Now, Eve Barlow makes a timing mistake in this, and this is actually why I noticed this document at all. See, before the document, it even drops. So we're talking about the exact same day that it's going to drop. This is just a few hours earlier. Eve Barlow switches off from whatever she was talking about at one time. I know this is hard to imagine, but at one time, she did other things besides target people like myself or JD or Adam Waldman, but she switches off and she goes after me. Not only does she do that, but she's using the talking points that we're going to see come up in a document a few hours later. So, she not only is mentioning things that are redacted. She filled in the blanks for me. I knew that that had to be about me, but she's talking about it again before it ever goes public. Look at what she says here. Like I said, this gives away at the game. At YouTube, because of course they're always tagging in, always going after YouTube. Why do you continue to an allow an account that would be that umbrella guy to post freely? So you can tell right there, you need to restrict that account. You need to go after them. You need to shut them down after repeatedly violating privacy rights. By the way, that is an out and out lie. You don't have any privacy rights that come with this stuff. If you file these items, they are public information. The judge said all of this is, even the redacted bits, that was going to become public information. But the stuff I talk about here, all of that, it was available publicly. But surrounding information pertaining to the J.D. A.H. trial that is yet to take place in court. It doesn't have to take place in court before you talk about it, by the way. But then she adds this statement, and this is a reflection of everything that A.H. keeps saying. It is a grave security risk. So when you take all of that together, again, you take the statement, you take the document that's going to drop a little bit later, you can tell that this is A.H. using Eve Barlow as a weapon to go after somebody that she wants to shut down. Why is that important, by the way? Well, because A.H. has always maintained deniability when it comes to Eve Barlow. Eve Barlow targeted Gina Duters in the courtroom, for example. That was a witness for J.D. Eve Barlow targeted her with disinformation. The stuff, it wasn't true, but she targeted her anyway. She even gets kicked out of the courtroom because of the after mouth, but she's also, she's targeted everyone from J.D. to Adam Waldman, lawyers. She goes after everyone involved, myself, everybody there. And again, you can tell here, it's not Eve Barlow that is pulling the strings. It's A.A. She's telling her what to do. That, that really says something when it comes to doxing, attacking businesses, going after kids and more. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I thought I would bring this to you. I thought you might find that interesting. Let me know what you think about this, though. And as always, I appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. I can't say that enough. If you want to help out the channel, by the way, links are in the description. We could always use your help. But you being here, that is the biggest help of all. Thank you. Appreciate you. In and here. See you soon.